The movie starts by showing an old man who is going back home after catching fish in a pond. When he moves forward on the way of the jungle, he sees a huge egg lying on the ground that seemed the egg of a big animal. He picked up the egg and started looking carefully, but then suddenly he heard someone's roar. And now when he turned back and saw there was a huge dinosaur there, which came very close to him and started roaring again. He was staring. He was very dangerous. But that man was not afraid of him when he said something. The dinosaur was roaring again because this egg was his, and he was feeling that he has come to steal my egg. Now, we see the time after five years of this incident, where it was shown that there was a lab in this jungle. There were some scientists doing an experiment on a crocodile. By combining the dinosaur and the crocodile's DNA, they were trying to create a new dinosaur. Soon, the head scientist doctor also comes here. As soon as he injected the crocodile, he got out of control. He was shaking hard. He was not coming under control. So he injects him with a fainting gun and makes him unconscious. From this, the head scientist doctor became very worried. He started feeling disappointed because he has been trying to create a dinosaur for many years, but he is not able to succeed in it yet. He was also worried about this, that if I did not complete my mission soon and do something, then the money we are getting for this research will be stopped. Now, we see the scene of a school where the teacher took the children to a museum where the old and precious things were kept. Today, the kids came here to see the big skeletons of the dinosaurs. The teacher tells them that many years ago, when we were not human, there were dangerous dinosaurs on the earth. Hearing this, a child named Chris, the main character of the story, raises his hand and says that, Madam, it is also possible that dinosaurs are still found. They are roaming around here and there, about whom we do not know. Hearing this, all the children laughed at Chris, because dinosaurs are very dangerous, and if they were there, humans would not have been found. Friends of Chris did not laugh at him. They remained like this. And when he came out of the museum, Chris saw a shop named World of Wonder, which can also be called the World of Surprises. He was very interested in the shop, that there must be some valuable, unique things here. So he went inside that shop. He met the same old man whom we saw in the beginning, the one who took the egg of the dinosaur. Chris tells him that show me some unique things, on which the old man shows him some unique things from his shop. Chris likes them, and he says, yes, they are good, but I want to see something more unique than this, which is some wonder, a real wonder. Hearing this, the old man started looking for the special thing in his shop that Chris will like. After looking for coffee, he gives him a wooden box, saying, keep this. There are a lot of unique things in it. In return for it, I don't want money. The only condition is that you have to take care of this box, and the thing in it, which Chris also agreed, and he came home with the box. He was quite happy and energetic. So he went to his room and opened the box, in which there was a big egg. Seeing this, Chris searches in the computer. How to take out the egg from the egg. He found out that it was for heating. So he puts a blanket on the egg for heating and went to eat the food. After a while, when he comes back, he sees that the egg is still in the same condition. The child has not come out yet. And as soon as he picked up the egg in his hand, the eggs began to crackle. As soon as the egg breaks, a small dinosaur comes out. Seeing this, Chris was surprised and he drops the egg in his hand, because he remembered that the teacher had said that dinosaurs had died many years ago. So how did it come now? But when he saw this cute dinosaur, he moved forward to touch it. But that little dinosaur started roaming around the room, from the ground to the bed, from the bed to the table, and just like that, he roamed around the room and broke things. Then, in the end, he hid under the bed because he was scared of Chris that he might harm me. Now to get him out of there, Chris came up with an idea. He puts the toffees and candies in front of the bed. Now as soon as the dinosaur smelled them, he came out slowly. Chris found it very cute. So he put his hand on his head and started waving it with love. He says, don't be scared. 
I won't harm you. The dinosaur quickly believed him, and he climbed on Chris with love. Thus, they became friends. In this happiness, the dinosaur started roaming around the room again. Then he went to the table and started eating Chris's books. Chris quickly took the book from his mouth. He understood that he was hungry. That's why he went to the kitchen to prepare the food. And now, as soon as he came back with the food, he saw that the size of the dinosaur had become bigger than before. But ignoring this thing, he gives the food to the dinosaur. He started thinking about what should I name it now. Then he looked at the picture of the scientist placed there, which is Chris's favorite scientist whose name was Albert. So on his name, Chris names the dinosaur Albert. Now they both started playing with the ball. But then Chris's mom came out of the room. That's why he quickly hid the dinosaur Albert. And he came out and said to his mom, Mom, I'm going to sleep. Good night. Saying this, he quickly closed the door. Now because of this, his mom was surprised and doubtful, but she ignored it and went away from there. The next day, when Chris was going to school, he also started taking Albert with him in the bag, where then both his friends came. Chris thought that I would keep him hidden from all this, but Albert himself could not stay in the bag. He comes out of the room. Seeing this, Chris's two friends are very scared. They say, hey, Chris, what is this? Dinosaur. Where did you get it from? On which Chris calms them. Do not be scared. He will not say anything. He is my friend. Saying this, he told all the stories to his friends. Now when they were talking, they noticed that Albert's size had increased a little more than before. Chris did not find this thing right. That's why he leaves school today and decides to leave Albert at that shop again. When he reaches the shop, he sees that the name of the shop has changed. When he went inside, so now there was not an old man, but a woman. Chris asks her, there was an uncle here. Where is he? The old woman replies, son, I work alone here. Then Chris looks at the old man's picture in front of him and says, I am asking about him. The old woman replies, he was my husband, who died five years ago. But what was the reason for his death? We have not yet come to know. Now Chris was shocked to hear this. He is not understanding anything. So he took Albert and left from there. And now he comes to the dinosaur museum. There he says to the receptionist, that I have to meet the director here, on which she asks him to wait for some time. So to spend time, Chris kept wandering here and there. Now the doctor also came to the museum soon. Who had come to take the bones of the dinosaurs? Because he wanted more DNA for his experiment. But now when Chris was roaming there, then Albert came out of his bag. He started running towards the skeletons of the dinosaurs. Now a child and her mother saw him. They felt that this is a toy. So they started touching him. But soon the doctor saw Albert through CCTV cameras. He was very surprised. He immediately ran out of there, so that he can catch Albert. Now seeing Albert, there was chaos there. People also ran out of the museum. And while the head doctor came there, Albert also ran out of the museum, so that he can't be caught. But at that time, Chris came and opened his bag, in which Albert sat, and Chris closed the bag. And he left from there. But after a while, the doctor comes in front of him. He says that he wants you to check his bag because he had a doubt that Albert was in it. Chris got scared after hearing this, but because he had to save his friend's life. That's why he ran away from there without giving any answer. Now Albert was very hungry. That's why Chris took him to a supermarket. Yes, there was a problem. A dog accidentally saw Albert and he followed him. He was constantly barking at him. Seeing this, Albert got scared. He ran to save his life. The dog was also running after him, and they destroyed the whole supermarket like this. But soon Albert came out of there, and immediately he gets in a car and sits. When the owner of the car came, then he took the car and started going from there quickly. But what did he know? That there is a dinosaur in my car. Chris had also seen all this. That's why he follows the car. But he couldn't run away. The car had gone too far. When the owner of the car reached home, he saw Albert when he opened the door. Seeing this, he got scared. His condition got worse. 
because all the food of that man was eaten by Albert. That's why his size had increased a little. Now the man felt that he is dangerous. That's why he shoots a gun on him. But Albert escaped from the target, got a chance and left from there. Now he can't run away. That's why the owner of the car quickly calls the police and tells them that a dinosaur has come to my house. Hearing this, the police reached there quickly, and they imprisoned Albert in the cage. They were thinking. Now because dinosaurs are not found in the world, so this is definitely a lizard-like dinosaur. They don't understand anything. That's why the head doctor, who was also an expert in animals, they call him and tell him about this. Now when Albert was taken by the police, so Chris had also seen this. That's why he follows their car and comes to the police station. He came inside and saw that Albert, who is imprisoned in the cage, his size has increased more than before. But he was worried. He didn't understand anything. How can Albert be saved? Then a man came and sat next to him, who looked exactly like the same man, who had given an egg to Chris. He asks Chris, Son, what happened? Why do you look so worried? On which Chris tells him everything, and now he also starts asking for help from that man. On which the man says, Son, I will definitely help you, but you should not keep Albert in your house or in the city, but should be kept in the open air like a jungle. But before he could do anything, here the doctor came with his team, and now he started taking Albert with him to the lab, when he was being taken for that. Then Albert started looking at Chris with sadness. But the head doctor put him in the car and went from here. Now the same old man came there with his small car, in which he quickly put Chris. And now both of them also go towards the lab. On the way, Chris's dad's eyes fell on him. They were surprised that Chris is here. But later they thought and ignored that I must be mistaken. He has gone to school. Head doctor took Albert to the lab, where he was very happy to get him. The old man and Chris were moving forward quickly with a small car. But something went wrong. Suddenly the brakes of their car failed, due to which both of them got very scared. What to do now? How to stop the car? Then the old man put his mind here. He hits the car with a tree, due to which the car stopped. They had a narrow escape. Then they both moved forward on foot and reach outside the lab where they secretly see that there are many guards standing outside the lab. They are guarding here, the old man said to Chris. Look, son, now you go and find the dinosaur. Till then, I will distract these guards. On which Chris did this. He entered the lab secretly. And now when he came in a tent, then he sees Albert there. He was tied with a string and kept here. And now his size was much bigger than before. Both were very happy to see each other. Then the guards came to know about the arrival of Chris. That's why they also come inside quickly. They had put a gun on Chris. But then an old man comes from behind and attacks both of them with a briefcase, due to which they fall unconscious there. Now quickly Chris took Albert's key from their pocket. They opened Albert. Where is he? On which Chris smiled and answered. That he is in the jungle. And he is absolutely safe there. Chris was surprised to introduce them to the old man. That old man had disappeared from there. Now there was no one sitting there. Seeing this, Chris was very surprised. So he peeped into the shop. He sees an old man inside it. While smiling, he said goodbye to Chris and left from there. And disappeared suddenly. Because of which Chris realized that this was actually the soul of that man. Who had only come here to save Albert. His purpose was fulfilled, so he also left from there. After this we see Albert in the jungle, who is very happy while spending an independent life there. And now, like him, everyone's life is set, and the movie ends.